Hi, welcome to Friendship Shaving. Mark here once again. Tonight I've got a Wee She razor to shave with. This is a budget razor made in China as you would guess by the name. This is the long handled version so we'll see how that shaves tonight. I've got a brush already loaded up. This is a fine brush. I've used it a few times lately. been really enjoying this. And the soap I'm using tonight is the TFS Chiong Feng Xing Italian soap and it's called Exclusivo. I've got a Supermax Super Platinum blade. So we'll just open that and pop that straight in the razor. Twist to open as you can see and we'll put that straight in there. And uh, tonight's aftershave will be Prorasso Green. Why not? So I'll just uh, splash my face and uh, we'll get started back in a moment. There we are now in conjunction with Trailer Park Blades and Beauty. There will be a giveaway tonight, um, but we'll get onto that later on in the shave. Let's get some of this soap on. I've uh, bowl lathered tonight. I don't do it very often, but I like to do it for a change. You can see I've got lots of lovely lather in my bowl. I do like this brush. It's not an expensive brush. It's got a synthetic knot. The tips of the knot are uh, quite soft. Um, but the fibre beneath the tips is slightly more coarse than the other synthetics I have. And uh, actually I really like that because it splays nicely and it gives a nice bit of scrubbiness to the brush, which uh, I like very much when I'm face lathering. The reason I bowl lathered tonight is that uh, the soap was a sample and uh, as the last bit I had, I had some great samples from shavedash.com um, and I just squashed it into the bottom of my bowl so that I could use up the last of it. It's a lovely soap this. Well I hope you've had a good day. It's uh, been hot here today. Uh, it's nice to come and shut the door behind me and have a relaxing shave in the evening. I'm using cool water again tonight. I do like cool water during the summer rather than hot water to shave with. I find it very refreshing. Now then, the Wei Shi razor, as you can see, it's very brightly coated, it's uh, chromium plated. Uh, you can see the insignia is uh, quite discreet even though it's put straight on top of the uh, razor there. Um, well, we'll see what it's like. Now although this is a budget razor, I have heard good things about it. So let's see. Well, straight away, 
it seems a very easy razor to shave with. This is the angle right here and it's easy to get that angle. It feels very good actually. I don't have a Gillette Super Speed, but I wonder how it shaves in comparison. quite liking the long handle. I've been shaving with the uh, Super 109 adjustable the Black Beauty all week and uh, I'm quite getting used to a longer handle. Very good, that was a nice easy first pass. That was quite a nice shape, I must admit. I'm slightly surprised at that. Because it is marketed as a budget razor, there's no doubt about it. And yet that was uh, a very nice first pass indeed. Oh, I've got, got a bowl full. <laughs> Here we go. So that's a drop of water. There we are. And more. More soap. I do like my uh, lather to be just slightly wet, especially in the heat. I don't like it to dry out on my face at all. Do you know it's a fine brush this, I'm really enjoying using this brush. Love it. I suppose I should have checked before I started. Yeah, the blade is aligned very nicely and uh, it does seem to have, uh, much like the Gillette adjustables, it tightens and then you've got just that little bit extra to really close the door, the doors down tight. It's making quite a bit of noise this radio, isn't it? I would say that it was mild to medium in terms of its aggression. I suppose if 
if you wanted it to be more aggressive you could put a sharper blade in perhaps and a feather or something of that nature and uh, if you wanted to be it to be a little less aggressive you could maybe put you know a, a coated blade like a Bosch got in or something like that but, uh, I'm enjoying this it's a good it's a good razor it's uh, 71 grams now it did look online there seems to be ooch, there seems to be a little bit of confusion as to what it's made of some people think that it's made of brass others seem to think it's made of a heavy alloy uh, some people have mentioned a copper alloy and in truth I don't know but it is um, it is a nice heavy razor it's about as heavy as my Gillette Slim. Um, it just is a nice weight to hold. And actually looking at it, I'll just rinse it. It, um, it does look nicely finished. You know, underneath it's all... Um, it looks like it's machined, it's been machined and then plated rather than cast. I don't think it's been cast. Anyway, it's quite a nice razor. Alright, third and final pass already. I'm mostly going to uh, go with the grain on this final pass. I don't know what's happened, but since the sun has come out, my face has erupted. So uh, I've had some saw bits and uh, a couple of bits that I put a lot lumps and bumps that I like to put antiseptic cream on. So uh, just going to. Take it easy tonight. And just have an easy irritation free shave. Do you know it's entirely different isn't it when you when you bowl lather rather than a face lather. It's quite relaxing. <laughs> Very nice indeed. You know, I think I'll change my appraisal of this razor. I think I'm going to say that it's a medium aggressive razor. Got 
a spot there, nightmare. There we are, nice and easy. Now I'll just rinse the brush out. That'll do, I think. And you'll have to excuse me a moment, we're overflowing. So I'm just going to drain a little water. <laughs> That. I know the noise of running water is picked up on camera and it is something that bothers me when I watch people shaving so I don't like to do it myself. Now I will just rinse my face and I'll be right back. A drop of cold. Oh, that's good. Do you know that's a nice shave? That's a very nice shave. I've got a couple of areas here where I know it's going to sting me a little bit. So uh, I'm going to use my uh, Allen block. Just very, very, very slightly stinging. Not much at all, but it just goes to show how good a shave that was. Um, very nice, nice, easy angle. Very easy shave, I've enjoyed that. Now, We've got a giveaway tonight, so one of the razors that I'm going to give away is the long-handled Weishi razor. So that was the first time it's been used tonight, and uh, hopefully somebody would like that. I should say that this giveaway is perhaps aimed at someone who is new to DE shaving, or that doesn't have very much kit, or that would just like to try something a little bit different that they haven't got already. So hopefully some of you out there will appreciate this. So we've got a Weishi razor, very nice shave with that. I've got this lovely synthetic brush that I've really, really enjoyed using. Um, these couple of synthetic brushes that I've been using recently have uh, opened my eyes to the, um, the quality of synthetics. Um, I enjoy this one and it's great for face lathering. So that's in the giveaway as well. Now also going to put in the giveaway another razor and this is a 1966 Gillette and it is the Gillette uh, Slim Twist. It is a plastic handled razor from Gillette. Uh, a twist to open and I'll just open it and show you the condition it's in. It's in lovely condition actually. Um, this is another mild razor but a very very nice shave. Um, and actually it strikes me that I've not shaved with this on the camera. So uh, next week I will shave with this razor just before uh, I announce the winner and before I send it all off. So at least I will have used this on video. So that's the Slim Twist 1966. I'm also going to put in a Pure Badger brush. Now this is my little Hyde Park brush from Progress Volfix. It was the first Badger brush that I bought and tried and uh, 
you can look through the videos and find the one on the Progress uh, Full Fix brush. It's um, it's a lovely little brush. It's uh, I've really enjoyed it. It's um, as I say, it was my first experience of a Badger brush. So if you've not used a Badger brush before, perhaps this would be right up your street. The Badger brush I have now has a much bigger knot, and I tend to go for that one all of the time. Um, so this one, I'm afraid, is not feeling the love at the moment, so I will put that in as well. Now, also got the Rockwell Razors Barbershop Shaving Soap. Now I've used this once, it's a very nice scent, but it's a bit too floral and a bit too scented for me. Um, I find strong smells quite difficult and this just is a little bit strong for me. So I'm going to put that in, it's been used once, and in case you don't like that scent, I'm going to put in a brand new bar of Edwin Jagger Aloe Vera Soap for sensitive skin. So hopefully one of those will suit you. Now I'm also going to put in some other items. I've got the Rockwell Razor Blade Bank. It comes apart like that at the bottom. Uh, I don't use that, so I figure it may as well go to somebody who will use it. It's brand new and hopefully you'll get some use out of that. I'm also going to put in the Neutrogena Men Razor Defence face scrub. Now I use this and I like this. I don't use it all the time but when I do use it I enjoy it. It's a good product. Now these were three for two when I bought them. So I've got my one here which I've got about that much left in. I've got another one in the cupboard in the other room and I've got this one. So I'm going to give this away as well. Uh, we'll put that at the back there. And finally, to finish it all off, I'm going to give you uh, some razor blades. So I'll put in a pack of the Rockwell razor blades. I really like these. I really like these. They're a nice, nice razor blade. Uh, we'll put in a pack of those. We'll put in a pack of the Sharp Stars made at the same factory that makes uh, Voschgold razor blades. I'm running out of space. I'll put them down there. Pack of Gillette Yellows, some Astra Platinums, and finally a pack of Gillette Green Super Stainless. So hopefully someone out there will really appreciate this giveaway. So we've got two razors, two brushes, two soaps, and a few other things. Now you've got a week. Uh, to enter for this giveaway and all I would like you to do is to just leave a comment with this video that says I'm in. That's it. If you let me know you're in by using those two words I'll put you in the draw. If you wish to comment about anything else then please leave that as a separate comment. Um, so that's it fellas. I'm in and you're in the draw. And uh, what I shall do is, I shall um, shave in a week's time with the Slim Twist. And actually, I'll use the Badger Brush uh, for the same shave. So you can see how that works and how nice a brush it is. And then I will wash, clean, polish and disinfect with Barbicide the razors, the brushes. And it will be all shave ready as it goes out the door and somehow I've got to get all of that stuff into this box so that's it fellas I hope that you uh, think that's a useful giveaway and I really hope that somebody will get some benefit out of that. 
Now the aftershave tonight is the Parasso Green. As I've already said, I just flipping love this stuff. You might have used that, and you might have noticed I've been using this more frequently recently, and the uh, the Nivea Sensitive, the good stuff, has slightly taken a back seat. That's it from me, fellas. I'll announce the winner next week. Please just write "I'm in" in the comments if you wish to be, uh, if you wish to take part, and. Um, I'll see you next week. I hope you have a good one. All the best now. Bye-bye.